See what I did there? Coach Canadian. is here. So I had to play the Canadian power trio. That's right. You gotta like that. Is that a, is that required by Canadian law that you have to be a fan of Rush? Is that a, is that a thing? Well, you know, we all grow up and fell asleep to it from our own dad. So. <laughs> yeah, I heard there was some... It's, a little, it's, a little, it's bred in us. Yeah, uh, I heard right by your you passport know. or whatever, there yeah. was like a vinyl copy yeah. of 2112 or something. They had to stay in like, vinyl yeah. all the time, yeah. How about Bob and Doug McKenzie? Do you guys know <laughs> I remember them, yeah, yeah. sure. Strange brew. What do What do you Strange listen brew. to when you just kick ah. back with the iPod or do you even have an iPod? You know, I, I'm, I, I'm pretty versatile when it comes to the music. I mean, uh, there's nothing like good country though like garth brooks and somebody like that i think can you know, i'm with you I, i'm not a, i'm not a big country me. music fan uh, i most of the new stuff is not really my thing the uh the kenny chesney's of the world and that kind of stuff but i can appreciate the the charlie daniels and the hank yeah. williams juniors and i did enjoy some of the old garth brooks when, yeah. when he was first on the scene and garth so changed, changed that whole music scene uh, when but, he came you around know, kiss impacted my whole life when i was a kid yeah was, oh yeah and then did you put you know, the face paint on well, every Halloween and or 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 whenever you could, you know. But uh, <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, I think I was like 29 years old, and they made a reunion comeback mm-hmm. tour. Might that was probably been, their third one. Yeah. Might have been the highlight of my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which one were you? Which was your favorite? Oh, uh, it had to be Ace Freely or the the guitarist or uh-huh. uh, Peter Chris too, the drummer, the cat. Yeah, the cat. Old. Yeah. I, th- I think that's because my mom could do the makeup the best of. One of those the two. Cat. <laughs> that works. Well, if you couldn't tell, Evans Weissman, head coach Dwight Mullins, is here in studio for his weekly segment in the crease. Uh, showed up just in the nick of time, coach. It's Fort O'Brien, ESPN Evansville, 105.3 and online, ESPNEvansville.com, sitting with coach talk uh, some Evansville Iceman hockey, uh, which you guys had a, a kind of a weird day today because you've already had a game. Yeah, work's done. You yeah. Know, well, I shouldn't say. <laughs> say the work is never done, Coach. <laughs> well, especially when you're on the short end of things. So, yeah, I shouldn't really say that. But, yeah, we played real early this morning. We had about uh, 7,200 kids in there, and it was uh, kind of a neat atmosphere. It was, uh, you know, it's a little strange, though. I'm not going to say it's like, you know, your body clock's kind of out of whack right. a little bit. But, Have you yeah. ever experienced playing in front of a group of students like that before? Has it always been more just a general hockey yeah, crowd? You know, that's the first one. That's the first one. That's the first one for me. And, you know, for a lot of our guys, too, it was the first time. So, um, you know, it was, like you said, it was just kind of a, I don't know, it's just it's kind of a weird deal. Like, yeah. Right now we're all kind of out of whack. I don't know what yeah. day it is. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that, that's got to be weird because, you know, like you say, I mean, you, you, you said it last week, and any coach I've ever talked to says it, too. You're a creature of habit. Yeah, you know, and you you do this, especially on game day. It's like, yeah. all right, I get up, I brush my teeth, I do this, I do that, and bang, I hit the ice at four o'clock, whatever, and yeah. everything goes in clock. Well, today you got to move it all back. You're on the ice at seven o'clock this morning. It's like, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Well, I think you once know. the you know once the game kind of got in, you know, once we got through even the first period, I felt like you know it it, it was just kind of things were normal, you mm-hmm. know. But uh, yeah, it was interesting. I mean, it was a great crowd, great turnout. Um, a lot of fun, you know. We uh, we wore a specialty jersey uh, that a young uh, man had designed uh, in uh, elementary school, and so uh, those will be auctioned off to everybody here. I think uh, starting today um, online, and uh, yeah, it was kind of a neat deal. Now, do you tell the guys before the game because there are so many kids there that maybe if if you want to drop gloves, maybe you second guess it this time around. <laughs> No, <laughs> you know, it's really funny, you know, because I've been asked that question. I even in some of our uh, in in some of our administrative meetings, you know, the question comes up if you know. And again, it's a competitive game, a competitive sure. spirit, and right. you know, I, I, again, you don't want to have uh, anything that leaves a black eye or a black mark on uh, on on your sport or on the kids. But uh, you still have to play the game, sure. and and again, I think that uh, I just stay out of the way and make sure that you know <laughs> things happen the way they should. Well, well, go ahead, Jimmy. No, I was just going to say you went in. Uh, this is this is your your uh, old job. Uh, you know your your, your yeah. old team coming back. Uh, yeah. This this your first time being at home at the Ford Center against right. these guys. Uh, they did get the best of you this morning, three to two. But yeah, you know some some of the things I'm sure you learned something. You know you got to learn something out of every game. Yeah, what. Uh, what kind of come out of this? What went right? What maybe went wrong? Well, you know, I, I it, it's kind of uh, it's almost a little bit too early to tell. I, I really thought that uh, both teams. I I kind of thought it was a scrambly game. I didn't think it was played uh, real crisp by either side. 
Um, you know, and again, I'd, I'd like the opportunity to kind of break things down here a little bit, and we'll get into that a little bit later today. So, you know, to, to kind of answer, I, I don't know if I can be real specific. I felt like, uh, you know, we, we, did, we, we didn't do ourselves any favors. We got into a, a penalty parade there in the middle of the second period that, you know, it really can uh, wear down your team and, and can really become, uh, you know, something uh, that you have to try to overcome from a momentum standpoint. And, uh, again, I didn't think that that helped our cause much. I, I, felt, I felt we finished the game stronger than the way we started, um, but uh, too little too late. We couldn't get the equalizer there uh, at the end and, uh, again, suffered our first regular season loss. Talking to Evans Weissman, head coach Dwight Mullins in the Crease weekly segment with Coach every Wednesdays here at 3.30. It's Ford and O'Brien, ESPN Evansville 105.3 and online ESPNEvansville.com. This probably doesn't uh, matter to you much. I, I'll ask the question anyway. It's more of a storyline for, for people like Jimmy and I, but any thoughts in, in regards to facing your former team? Like, do you put any stock into it whatsoever? Is there kind of a, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it to you guys. Well, <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, I, I think that there's always some sentimental, you know, you, you want to come out on the good end of these things. I think, though, like realistically, though, you know, there's uh, it's two different it's two different organizations, two different teams, and um, so you know, and again, even the way things played themselves out, I mean, uh, you know, I was treated really well there, and uh, you know, enjoyed my time there, and uh, I had some players that played very hard for me there, so I have nothing but great things. I mean. But at the same time, too, uh, you know, I like what's going on here. I like the group of guys I have here and what we have going on here. And, and uh, you know, I like it better. <laughs> and uh, I'd, <laughs> like for, I'd like for us to be, uh, you know, uh, on the successful side of things. But, uh, again, I, 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 didn't, I didn't put a whole lot of, uh, like, uh, revenge factor into yeah. uh, How much into stock into it? No. Yeah. Well, they, they, and you know, we you, see him a lot. We're, we're going to see him. Well, yeah, you know, that's, what I was just getting, yeah. that's what I was just getting ready yeah. to say. There's one thing about hockey. Yeah. You've got a long season, yeah. and it's not like you see a team once or twice. Or like football, you know, where if you're out of conference, you may play them once every two or three years or right. something. So you're going to see these guys plenty of times. But, I mean, all in all, the, the, the stats that, that we see a little bit, and obviously you haven't had a chance to break down film yet, but, yeah. you know, Heater stopped 38 or 41 shots. Yeah, he did. It's not a bad game. No. You know, and it's, no. I, I mean, and it's. And I don't know, to be honest, 41 shots at goal, is that as a coach, is, yeah. is that acceptable or no. are they spending too much time on your side of the ice? No, well, and I, again, I attribute that. I mean, we took four penalties right in a row. And, uh, you know, when you're a man down, uh, those shot totals will climb on you. And, you know, not only shot totals, but territorial time. So, you know, uh, again, if you if you limit some of that even to half, it probably knocks 10 uh, you know, maybe 10 to 12 shots off there and gets things back down to normal. But that's a high shot total. Um, you know, again, I don't know how many really were quality uh, per se, but at the same time, too, I know that uh, Cal Heater did have to make some saves to, you know, to keep us within striking distance for sure. Well, you know, you hear a lot in, in other sports, a uh, big thing is turnover ratio, which obviously yeah. in hockey, it's 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 a different world. I mean, it, it, turning over, you're going back and forth, everything else. It yeah. happens four but, times in the span I, of about it, six it, seconds. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, like in football, they say if if you can, you know, if if you can limit yourself to uh, winning the turnover battle yeah. or whatever that you've got really good odds at winning the game. What is in, in when when you sit down and look at film and you yeah. put something on paper, yeah. what is a, a, a good feeling for you if yeah. let let's say, you know, the goals. Shots yeah. on goal for the opponent versus shots on goal for your team. Yeah. What's kind of a limit there? If if we get forty shots on goal, we should win the game X amount of times. What's something that you look at coach wise, number wise, when you're looking at shots and goal? Well, you know, I definitely think that uh, anything from the 12 to 14 range in a period uh, really means that you're doing some great things offensively. It also means that you're spending a lot of time in their end. So from a territorial standpoint, um, you know, the puck's in the end of the ice that you want it to be. Um, you know, and I think that, you know, the equivalent to our sport to a turnover uh, is looked at in two ways. Through the neutral zone, if you're turning the puck over in the neutral zone and you're not getting any kind of offensive depth 
on your attacks and you're turning that puck over in the neutral zone, not good things usually happen from that. And, you know, I attribute the first two goals that we gave up today to just uh, some careless play by us in the neutral zone. We just didn't take care of the puck and do the right things with it. Um, you know, the other thing is face-offs. You have to win your face-offs. Face-offs are like a fumble. Um, you know, you either you either start with the puck and get the puck back or you're starting on the defensive and you got to find a way to get it back. So, you know, I think when those totals are, are in your favour and the shot totals, like I said, are 12 to 14 a period, somewhere in that range, you, you're playing in the right end. You're doing the right thing. Okay, so basically if you can get 35 to 50 shots on goal, you're feeling pretty good about it. Yeah, you're not going to, you know, you're, you're in the game. Okay. There's no doubt okay. you're in the game. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt. Ford and O'Brien, ESPN Evansville, 105.3 online, ESPNEvansville.com. Talking to Iceman head coach Dwight Mullins for his weekly segment. Uh, one more for you, coach, because I know you probably want to get back and start looking at some film and not figuring really. out what. <laughs> <laughs> He's not fine right here. save it for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm fine yeah, right here, thanks. You know, there's <laughs> some <laughs> movies you just don't want to see twice. Like, you know? I, I've seen this one before. I yeah. know how it ends. I know yeah. how it ends. Uh, I go home then yeah. and just have him take over. That I'll, I'll, I'll go home. You want to produce. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, you guys had the, the road game up in Indianapolis last Friday. You come back home and, and turn around and play Indy again on Saturday. Now the game this morning. Health-wise for the team, how you guys feeling, and how's it, how's it look as you get ready for a couple of games this weekend? Well, you know, I think that uh, health-wise we've been fine. We, we're just nursing a couple of guys that uh, had gotten dinged up before that whole series had, uh, had uh, we started into it. And uh, so an Andre Bove Morissette, we're waiting on him to come back. And then... You know, the new guy that we uh, had made a, a transaction for is, is still probably a, a good week away from being able to participate. He's got some dings a little bit uh, coming to us from Colorado that, uh, you know, we're going to try to get better. Um, so, you know, but all in all, uh, you know, we're healthy. Um, I think call-ups are something, though, at this point in time that are going to be more of a factor than injuries. Uh, we had two guys called up to Binghamton there last week, and I don't know one that showed back up uh, in uh, Jakob Sulek. He came back last night and uh, got in late so he could play this morning. But, uh, you know, those are the things that are going to start to creep in a little bit that we have to deal with from time to time here. Well, you guys uh, got another game on Friday night. We'll have it here for you on ESPN Evansville 105.3. You know, we love having you in here, Coach. Welcome uh, anytime, especially on Wednesdays at 3.30 because that's kind of when we pencil <laughs> you in to be here, so that certainly helps. Uh, Evansville Iceman head coach Dwight Mullins joining us here on Ford and O'Brien ESPN Evansville 105.3 and online ESPNEvansville.com. Thanks for the time. We'll see you hey next guys, week. Thanks. Oh, yeah, thank you. We'll see you next week. That's great.